consciousness is the single most important data point to understand reality. Uh, public intellectual uh, Robert Lawrence Kuhn uh, has put together a remarkable uh, document laying out the landscape uh, of consciousness and the different theories involved. And he's now recently turned to uh, this survey of the views of consciousness. And it's a huge uh, survey, There's 175,000 words, I think, in, in total. It's got almost a couple of thousand references. Um, deals with 250 different accounts of consciousness and explores their consequences and what we uh, draw from them. So let me begin, Robert, by asking you if you don't think that one, any one of these theories is more productive than another. And I, I do, is that right, that you I, think I, they're all somehow viable? You know, that's, I, I really have to think hard about your question because <laughs> I, I, I guess I can short-circuit short it by saying it's not that we have too many theories, it's that we have one too few. Uh, I, you know, I, <laughs> I, I can put it that way. But every theory that I put in there, I felt something nice about. I don't think any of them are right. I mean, I don't think yes. anybody has so, an answer, uh, you know, including me, especially me. But it's, everything has an interesting insight that gives me a different way. I mean, I've looked at this for, you know, 50 years or more now, uh, and, and looked at it from every angle, interviewed people and close to the truth, you know, everything. And if I see, it, when I'm reading something and I see, and I, I relate to it, I, oh, I didn't think of it that way. That, that to me is, uh, is wonderful. So the, each theory adds something to an, our, our understanding. Um, and, and so it's not which is right. Now, I do think there ultimately is a right theory about how, how we have this inner experience, the feeling of the smell of garlic cooking in olive oil or seeing your newborn daughter in, 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 in blankets after she was born. Whatever that in, inner experience, that inner movie we have um, is, is really a remarkable thing that this is in the universe. It's the everything that you know seems there's normal to us, normal day life. But you think about the universe and how it's structured and how how planets come together and, and and the whole process of cosmology. And then out of that comes this conscious inner experience. I mean, that to me is the most awesome, uh, 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 almost contradiction or most awesome thing that we can possibly think about. Uh, and it's something that unless you really think hard about it, you don't, it, it's just too, too common and too ordinary. But the fact that we have this inner experience, this inner movie, uh, and that comes out of, the, of, of a universe of, uh, of, 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 of scattered rocks and gravity and electromagnetism is to me the most astonishing fact of, of reality. And that is a major data point in saying what reality is all about. Now, Many scientists would disagree with what I say, what I just said, and that consciousness is a, an accident of evolution. A, an accident meaning that was one path that it took. It was an efficient way to get something done. And and if you ran the movie back, ran the movie backwards or again in a different way, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't emerge in that same way. So I would probably disagree with that view. And I I believe that for the reason I said that consciousness is arguably the single most important data point to understand reality. So, uh, as I understand it, you have been through all of these 225 or whatever it is. You're not convinced that any one is the true. You say we're, we're one too few. Yeah. How would you know when you got to the 226 was, was true? What, what would be about you'd read it and you think, oh, no, no, this is the one. <laughs> So uh, the answer was given by a Supreme Court uh, U.S. justice who said, um, you know, I can't define what pornography is, but I know, I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, of course, what we regard as pornography changed Change, a lot yeah, over that's time. True. That's true. So that's true. maybe we don't. Yeah. And of course, I mean, as you know, uh, Robert, uh, uh, wearing my own temporary philosophical hat here, I, I, love it. Uh, I, I would have a, an account that we hold the world in different ways. And these 225 
uh, ways of holding it are indeed ho attempts to try and produce uh, an account, and they do, uh, as as you've identified, uh, they have advantages, they have insights okay. that are embedded right. in that way of holding it. Right. But of course, I would want to say, why don't you just give up the idea that there's the right one? Um, uh, and But you're really attracted with the idea there is a right one, it's just we haven't got it yet. And we may never be able to get it, but I, I am, I am c c completely convinced that there is a right one. Uh, whether it's possible to get or not, that I'm not sure, and I, I kind of doubt it. There are people who say, and very distinguished people, friends and names that you know who have appeared here, who would say that it, it, it's not possible for the human brain inside this universe to be able to understand consciousness. That, that's because we didn't evolve. We evolved to escape the tigers on the, on the savannas of Africa. And, Kind of a miracle that we can understand quantum physics and the theory of closure and we, you know the how that happens who knows uh but we'll, we'll never be able to understand consciousness just because the limitations of our brains i i reject that argument i i don't think that our brains are limited to where we couldn't understand consciousness uh, i think the limitation of understanding consciousness has to do with this uh, this physical mental um uh divide and, and is that uh, achievable? So that's why I would come down on a theory of consciousness that goes beyond the physical. So I would not be one to, um, uh, to, uh, to, to think that a purely physical theory would, uh, would be true. I, I ha and I would, I would have given you that at a 98% certainty at some point in the past. But one incident in my life, take a minute to explain, it was very personal. Uh, change that percentage uh, from 98% sure that materialism is wrong to maybe 92%. So a slight drop. That's because it's a personal story, but it's well known. My daughter won't mind you telling it. Uh, my daughter uh, got married late, uh, tried to have a baby with her husband, uh, had two miscarriages, uh, and then had frozen her eggs when she was 35. And, and her, they, they defrosted an egg. Her husband fertilized it. It was refrozen again for another year while her body, she wanted to carry the baby herself. And, uh, and her body had to be prepared at, at 48 as a hormonally, which her parents, me, did not like, but it was her decision. Uh, long story short, she carried it to term. She had a cesarean operation. Went through all the genetic tests. You know, you're always worried about autism and everything else. And the kid is five years old and super normal, super social, and bilingual because they live in France. Now, that experience, as much as I thought I knew biology, kind of shook my confidence that the material world is incapable of solving this. As I said, I still skew that it's not. Uh, but I, I, you know, that was just a, a, a personal experience that, that, that affected me. And it's re quite remarkable what the material world can do. So I'm not shutting the door on it. But when you were listing these, did you, you said you stood in the position yeah. of all of yeah. these yeah. different outlooks. You must have had a sense of thinking, well, you know, I I'm convinced by this or, or I'm not convinced by it I in each case. I mean, when, when people read your article. What do you want? What do you want them to do with 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 all of this? Yeah, stuff? yeah. In one sense, uh, that had no bearing. I was doing this because I had I couldn't not do it, and it, I, you know I, I couldn't write a ten thousand uh, uh, you know kind of a review article on the surface. I had to do what I had to do, and if people it helps people or doesn't help people, um, I hope it does. I hope people get something out of it. Um, I, I, what, what sort of thing do you want them to? Because, of I, I, course, most of us, don't we? Most of us are made of, well, you know, this consciousness puzzle, it's a deep puzzle, but I'd, I'd really like to find some sort of answer. I'd like to have a sense of, well, there's more potential over here yeah, than over yeah, there. Yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 and that's, that's a very good point. I, and I think this presentation gives you an opportunity to explore your own thinking because it gives so many different ways of thinking about consciousness so you can uh, you can feel I, I like to I like to say I, I like to luxuriate in the questions understand the questions really deeply so whereas I'm 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 pleading complete um, lack of, uh, of knowledge about what the answer is 
I can tell you with, with high degree of confidence, maybe overconfidence, but very strongly that I understand the questions. I understand what each of these theories are. And that, give, that gives me a certain sense of, of, uh, of confidence and a certain, uh, uh, um, and, and, and to some degree takes away a mystery. It doesn't take away the mystery. Maybe it exemplifies it, but I, I have a feeling I can encompass it. And if people will, will scan through the paper, I mean, just really quickly, and see this, this blizzard of theories, each one of which has deep richness to it, the product of some people's, you know, 40, 50 year life in terms of, and, and everybody who has a theory believes that their theory is the right theory, even you. <laughs> well, we've had that conversation yeah, yeah, right. because in a way I'm not, I, I don't think that, of course, it, I think this is a way of holding the world. R right. So uh, I, I wouldn't say that that, yeah. that is my, th it is my theory. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah, so, so and, and that's right. And, and so in a sense, each of these theories are a way of holding the world uh, because they have a, they look at it in a, at, a, at, a, at an aspect of it. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that the real theory is some kumbaya, everybody has to work together. It's not, it's not, that's not it. There is an answer, I'm you know, sure of that, and I'm sure that none of, none of the, uh, the theories that I put out are, are it. So what is it that, you, you, there's a bit of short, sureness there, which is, I yeah. imagine a lot of the audience think, well, I, I feel a bit better, uh, <laughs> I know what's going on. So how are you sure that none of them is the answer? Look, you can't be sure of anything. Uh, I would be shocked if any, any... To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. With a free trial, you can enjoy the full talk and thousands more. Thank you for being part of the conversation.